Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh and in today's open house, we're gonna speak about the Matrix IDX. And this is a segment where you, the Matrix user, can send me uh, questions and I answer them publicly for the benefit of everyone. And uh, you know I gotta say it. Uh, now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, uh, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. And today's question comes from Jody, who essentially wants to know if Matrix has a lead generation option uh, specifically with the IDX? Well, Jody, uh, the short answer is yes. Uh, but first off, what is an IDX? Uh, an IDX is uh, short for Internet Data Exchange, and it's essentially a tool that enables members of a multiple listing service to integrate real estate listings from the MLS database into their websites. Or in other words, it's a tool that gives your personal or your professional website uh, property search capabilities. So anybody obviously visiting the website will be able to do a search for, uh, for properties and it's integrated in with your own personal website. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, navigate uh, from the dashboard and we're gonna head to the uh, settings section of Matrix. And from there, we're going to click on the uh, IDX configuration. All right, so this is where the magic happens. And um, we can essentially create multiple IDXs from this location. Now, why would I wanna create multiple IDXs? Well, we could have a, uh, an IDX for our own personal listings. So those are the, uh, the active listings that we currently have available. So on our, uh, on our current website, we may want to channel visitors to uh, to that section just so they can see what we have available. And uh, in a completely different IDX, you may have a page where visitors to your website are able to do a search and they'll be doing searches for uh, properties based on their own criteria. So those are just a couple of examples why you might want to have multiple IDXs on your uh, website. All right. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to begin by naming this IDX. So call it whatever uh, whatever you think is appropriate, something that's uh, easily recognizable. This is not going to be publicly visible. This is only for you to be able to organize it within the IDX module. And uh, next, we're going to choose our form selection. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we have a selection of my listings and map search. So, of course, my listings, that's going to be an IDX where, as I mentioned, it's going to uh, be a separate page where visitors to your website are able to see your specific listings. Now, we're not gonna go through this particular one in detail. I'm gonna jump over to the, uh, the map IDX, and uh, that's essentially the map search, and that's where visitors can do a search for properties uh, from the MLS system. So essentially, uh, they'll see properties as you will see them, but they will only see the publicly available information. So that's what we're essentially allowing our website to do is give visitors the uh, the uh, option to search for properties. And um, we have a different, uh, few different uh, search options available. The first one is do not specify a map area. And this allows visitors to search anywhere in the MLS region. So essentially the same uh, location that you have as an agent to search your visitors to your website will be able to search that exact same location. Uh, the second option that we have is restricting searches to a specified map area. And uh, this allows you, the agent, to target a very specific area that your visitors are able to search. So if uh, maybe you're just familiar with a very specific area of the MLS, maybe it's a very, very large area, that your MLS covers, but you like to concentrate on a very, very specific area and you don't necessarily want visitors to your website to be able to search outside of that area that you're more comfortable with, then you can go in and you can allocate a very, very specific area that they're able to search within your website. And the third option that we have is uh, specify an initial area and um, that the visitor can search 
uh, but they can also search outside of that area. And this is essentially a combination of the first two options. And it's a good option to use if you want to draw the visitor's uh, attention to a very specific area, but of course, let them search outside of that area as well. So maybe you're representing a, uh, a, a development project where there's, where there's plenty of uh, properties that you want to just again, channel your visitors to your website to, uh, to view. So as soon as they do a map search, that's what they're going to see initially. They're going to be uh, honed in on that very, very specific area that you allocate. But of course, if they do want to, they can search outside of that area as well. You're really just drawing their attention into that one very specific area. Now, of course, how do we do that? Well, we're just going to uh, select the map area from our map and we're going to use the uh, rectangle tool to do that. And again, this is going to be the area that's uh, focused in on whenever a, a visitor comes and wants to do a search on my particular website, it's going to draw their attention to this specific area. So they're going to see all the properties in this particular area first. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, a couple times already, they, uh, they do have the option of uh, searching outside of that area as well. All right, so back to our initial form. Uh, one of the other options we have is a sign up form. And um, this not only allows the visitors to our website to share their contact details with an agent, but also any potential properties that they find along the way. So here I'm just including a, a note to my potential prospect. And this again, this is going to be a, um, a note that they see when uh, they do choose to communicate with me, uh, their, well, not quite yet their agent, but hopefully their agent uh, one day. Um, and this is just gonna be an initial note that they see, which we'll see in a few moments. All right, uh, next we're going to enable the IDX. And the reason for this uh, feature is so that it can be enabled or disabled from within Matrix. And you don't have to go back into your actual website to remove the IDX manually. So for whatever reason, if you don't want anyone to be able to do searches from your website, whether it's for your own listings or for uh, other properties, you can disable this IDX from, uh, from appearing on, uh, on your website from here. But in this case, of course, we just want to, uh, we want to enable it. All right, so uh, once that's been saved, uh, it generates some HTML code, and this is the code that you'll wanna copy and paste into your website. Now, if you're not managing your own website, then of course you'll just take this code uh, and you'll forward it to your webmaster or whoever manages your website and they'll add it. Uh, it only takes uh, a few minutes to do. So it's very, very, very simple. They just integrate it into their HTML page and uh, that will appear within your website. But this is a stitch of code that you'll need to either add yourself or pass on to your webmaster and uh, they can slip it into uh, to your page. And uh, just so you're aware, the uh, referring page will automatically populate once you've actually added uh, and used your HTML link above on your own website. Uh, so in other words, uh, once you've added your iframe to your website and the website is displayed in a browser, uh, the matrix server captures the referring website URL. So there's really nothing for you to do here. It's just really just showing you where uh, this is being used. So let's go ahead and preview what this will look like on your website. And again, this is what your visitors will see when they do a search. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to mark this as a property that I'm interested in. And I'm going to sign up with the agent and provide my contact details. All right, so just to bring this full circle back inside of Matrix, uh, when a visitor does send you an IDX request, uh, you'll see them in the contact request widget on the Matrix dashboard. And then from here, you're able to read their information as well as view any of their favorites if you choose to add them as a contact. All right, so just to recap, settings, IDX configuration, 
And then from here, add, modify, or delete an IDX. All right, well, hope that answers your question. Uh, be sure to subscribe and select to be notified whenever new open house videos are posted. Take care. <laughs>